What's up, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. He played what Wednesday? Uh, full confession. You ever get your guitar and you feel like you've never played a day before in your life? Seriously, I got this and I was like, kind of like I never played my first chord, like just a brain fog or something. Got a fun song for you though here. Uh, I'm just going to use three chords D, G, and A. And then on the chorus, it's going to be D, A, and G. Real fast, too. Not sure if you're aware, you should have received an email from me this morning at 6.30. And all you gotta do to be on my email list, sir, if you've ever bought every anything from me, it could be a songbook, a DVD, in the history of time, you're on my email list. So if you've ever bought, like I said, anything from my website, you're on that list for life. And I'm gonna do some fun little stuff on that. So, so like I said, get on that list if you can, and help your boy out. But you should have received the email at 6.30. I'm doing my top five four chord songs, my top five he played what Wednesdays, that kind of thing. Now let's jump to the lesson. It goes, you say we've got nothing in common. Coming around to stop from we're falling apart. Jam there. Like I said, I'm gonna play a regular D chord, third and bottom string of the second fret, the second string of the third. You strum the bottom. You can use a pick. I y'all know me. I usually don't use a pick. So you're strumming the bottom four. You see. So I'm kind of doing four there. See. Then keep your ring finger there and lock in those two bottom strings and go up to your G, fifth and sixth. Strum all six. We got two G's. And then for your A chord, your third and final chord, leave your ring finger on that second string. And use your first finger and press the two middle strings. Show the bottom five. Nothing in common. She no common around to stop from. For just basic, basic beginners and down strums, I mean, ba basic beginners, just do down strums. You're gonna do four A, four Ds, two Gs, and two As. And it's really kind of a faster strumming song. So once you get that down, so it's gonna down, 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 down. I'm kind of doing three downs on a G and A. So you say. So again, for the chord, for the verse, D to G to A, all you're gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, is switch those two around. So D, A, G. So you're, instead of going up and back down, you're climbing up. So D to the A to the G. And I said, what about the breakfast at Tiffany? She said, I think I remember the film. And as I recall, I think we both kind of liked it. And I said, well, Y'all know, get a little fuzzy, fun little jam there. Um, so I always start out, guys, with just those simple down strums. Strumming is about timing more than when you start going about strumming patterns. I, at least I was this way. When I start trying to do strumming patterns, it throws off my timing and messes me all up. Think about the timing. So that's why I say one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one. And then for the chorus, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And once 
once you kind of get that timing down and that smooth, steady rhythm, you can increase your strumming patterns. I mean, increase your speed. You gotta get you a pattern. And I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany? She said, I think I remember the film. And as I recall, I think we both kind of like it. What do you think? Somebody asked me about this the other day. I've done some videos on it, but I've done so many videos. I don't even know where I put it. But on that D chord, if I'm playing a regular D chord, so third, bottom, and second. A lot of times, to give it a little quad, it's called musical dimension. I'll take that middle finger off that bottom string. So, hear that? So it kind of fancies it up a little bit, makes you sound better than you are, right? And I said, what am I? See, I'm doing that. So notice too there, I always say try to find you a pivot finger. So I'm keeping my ring finger on that second string. So D, then A, then put the pinky down. D, A, and it's just pivoting all on that second string of the third fret. Hope it helps you guys. Be sure to check out my website, Country Song Teacher, countrysongteacher.com. All the links are obviously in the bio, that kind of thing, bio, description, whatever. Uh, so countrysongteacher.com, and uh, let me know what you think. We'll keep rocking and rolling. Like I said, anytime you buy anything, even the $10, what's up, buddy? Got my main man here. We just did two firewood delivery loads a day. Two, two deliveries in one day. What's up, bud? Come over here, yeah, we didn't get you here. Okay, you want to jam some? It's my main man. Y'all, he'll be my replacement one day. You want to play some? Okay. You ready? You say we got nothing coming. We're coming around to the start. You already done? <laughs> All right, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. Okay, you can close for me, bud. And I'll dance with you on the next wedding. All right, love you guys. God bless you. Smash the like button. Let's go.